All these kids and their parents need is a break. For one day, the families forget about what's going on and they just have a really good time. A break from doctor's appointments, radiation, and chemotherapy. Well, today is about giving families a chance to forget about the challenges they have in their life because all of our families are dealing with a child battling cancer. 15 year old Travis Torres O'Callaghan gets chemotherapy every Friday, but today he got to skip it and come here. About a year ago, I found out so, that I had a brain tumor. And I've had three surgeries since. His family got the news on Mother's Day last year. He got a really bad headache in the middle of the night, and we went to the emergency room because I could tell it was something different than a normal headache, and they found a mass on his brain. <laughs> Travis and all the families that showed up got to relax with free rides at the Thunderland Amusement Park, raffle prizes, pizza, and root beer floats. It's very heavy. And superheroes Captain America and Thor showed up to lend their support. Well, I believe what, what's going on here is great. It's wonderful to be able to do something like this for, for the children. Nathaniel Serrano was diagnosed with leukemia last March at the age of five. This year he's doing amazing and um, it takes his mind off from day to day just dealing with cancer and pills and all the stuff that he has to deal with. So we're having a blast here. He's having so much fun. Hold on a minute. Jennifer Brano has been involved for the past 15 years. Her daughter was diagnosed with cancer when she was really young. Now the whole family gives back. Her daughter and husband are balloon artists, and she is a face painter. The best part about this is when they look in the mirror and see their own face. So you can see all the kids having so much fun. Organizers say it's such a huge success that they're already planning next year's event. In Land Park, Walter McCaula, KCRA 3 News.